Emu Elec was a great retro gaming development that we looked at just a couple of weeks ago. And that is a dedicated system for Amlogic TV boxes. Now, there is an alternative version to Emu Elec, and that is in the version of an add-on. So that add-on works with the Librelec style system that we know as Core Elec for Amlogic. Now, this system is just a simple add-on that installs onto Core Elec, so you can get best of both worlds. If you're a Core Elec user, you just like using Kodi, but you also want to check out some retro games, then Emu Elec is certainly something that you should check out, and this is what we're going to be covering in this video. The latest version of Corelec is out, and if you want to know how to install it onto your Amlogic system, then check out the video in the link in the description. It's very easy, it's very straightforward. So Emu Elec is an add-on developed for Corelec, and it allows you to play retro gaming systems, and it covers a vast range of hardware from the very early days right up to, say, the PlayStation and N64. Yes, it really does cover a vast amount of systems, and this is certainly something you want to check out if that's what you're into. Of course, we covered that dedicated Emu Elec operating system that is really quite good, and you should check it out if that's all you want to do. But if you've got a Core Elec setup, and you want a little bit of uh, retro gaming built into that, then this is something you need to check out. So first of all, you need to go and download the add-on. It's just very simple. You just go to the links in the description. Now there's two add-ons available for you. There's the first one just here. Now this is built for the previous generations of Amalogic chipsets. So the S95, S95X, S95W, the S912 and so on. And that's the one you want to download. But if you've got the newer chipsets, the S905X2 for example, the S922X, then you just need this one just here. So download them, get them onto a USB stick. So Insert it into your Amlogic device that's got Corelec all set up. Now it doesn't matter whether it's set up on SD card or if you've managed to install it into the internal storage on your Amlogic TV box, it doesn't matter. Just install it the same way you would install every other add-on that you've ever installed. Let's go to the zip installer function and then just install the add-on. Now it will take about five minutes. I've um, I've timed it and it's about five, six minutes, something like that. It does take a while. There's no notifications either. It just does it and it just takes a while. Just leave it alone once you've clicked OK. And once that's done, it should now display the emu rec option within your games and programs now once you've done that you just need to click that and allow the system to set itself up and once that's done you can then return to your Kodi setup and then you can go over to your computer now because this is the part where we need to start need to transfer ROMs otherwise the system won't go into emulation station so we need to use win scp now this is just a really simple program to allow us to connect to all the files and folders that are happening on your sd card that has Corelec installed on it or if you've got um, Corelec installed on the internal system it's the same sort of setup so first of all i want you to get the ip address for your Corelec system that's really easy just go to system information and it tells you right there if you've never used WinSCP before, then go ahead now and install it. I'll leave the links in the description below. It's really simple. It just wants you to enter the IP address just here. So enter it. So just set it up like that. Put your IP address in. The username is root and the password is Corelec. Press yes, confirm it, and you'll see all these files and folders. And what you should see straight away is a folder named ROMs. Go into there, and you'll see a whole bunch of different systems from Atari right through to PlayStation, Game Boy, and so on. This is where you are putting your ROMs into these folders. So I've got a PlayStation bin file here. This is just a ROM. I'm going to transfer that in there. It'll take a couple of minutes to transfer over. Then I can go back over to the TV box now and start setting everything up and play my favorite retro games. So now we can launch Emulec again. And now this time, once the installation has launched, it will then ask you to set up a controller. Of course, you can use an Xbox controller or whatever USB controller you've got and just 
follow the on-screen instructions and once you've done that you can go straight into your games and start playing it if you're unfamiliar with emulation station it might take you a little time to get used to it but it's very straightforward and there's lots of different videos around youtube on how to actually use these systems as they are generally the same so emulation station retroarch they're all the same they're just of course poured to different pieces of hardware so have fun let me know what you think of it in the comment section below and that's it guys thanks for watching and we shall see you next time